Hey guys, Model Rocks 321 here. We are back with another video. Today we are in the park doing some park flying, just all low flying stuff. Today we got the Quinn Star and we're gonna be flying a couple of low flyers, only three, four hundred feet on some C60 and a surprise at the end. So that's what we're gonna do today. It's a very active field. As you can see, there's a plane flying right there. So it's a radio control um, field. It's a shared field. So we get a couple things happening here I'm gonna have to watch out for. But here we go. Also, subscribe to the channel. Um, check the links below. Discount at Estes. You can get yourself a Quinstar. Put in discount code I underscore three two one, and we're gonna get the day started right now. All right, here we go, guys. We are going. The Centrix going in T minus five, four, three, two, one. And he's up, and he's spinning. <laughs> See him plane just went by okay. didn't get much of a spin but he is back on the ground all right so there we go plane went by me as you can see still got a little smoke coming out of the c60 guys nice flight for the first one so always give a little warning before we go up um flight pretty cool but yeah this is an active field you can see another plane right there cool planes but they gotta watch out because when I send up one of these, but I do yell out to them. So it's my rocks three two one. Go and subscribe to the channel, guys. Here we go. Get another one up. The Estes Hex three. We're doing some park flying today. Like I said, we got a very active field. We got some uh, RC planes going up. So we're gonna do our thing and let's get it going. Going up. Hex 3, going on a C60, going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hex 3, way up there, real good. Real nice, should have, yes, yeah, gliding down pretty nice, little spin. Pretty much in the same air as the other one, good. Landed right side up, a lot of smoke. And there's another plane still in the field, great. Giving that little morning smoke coming off there. This one landed on its lid, so it stuck the landing extra points for that so but yeah guys cool good deal that is flight number two have to give those airplane guys a warning before we go up but they better watch out <laughs> smile rocks three two one subscribe to the channel and we'll be right back all right next up guys we have a ufo this is a rocket or a the ufo flying saucer i had from estes i had one of these when i was a kid i remember ordering it and it came in the mail through the catalog so this is a very old one. This is not that same one. This is a repurchase, but I remember getting this one. But I do have this one in a package mint sealed also. So we will be sending this one up next. Like I said before, go on, check the links below, watch the Omega film. You can get that. You can download that and watch that. That's in the link below. Estes discount code. Also the Zine, above the surface Zine is available. You can get yourself one of them. So we will be sending up the UFO. C60 should land like that, but you know how it is. Smile Rock 321. Let's do it. All right, guys, we got the UFO, the flying saucer by Estes, going off in three. Going up in three, two, one. And he flipped over and he's coming down. Check him out. And he landed. He landed. I gave the warning, but the plane still wanted to fly close by, but not too bad. He, he knew what he was doing. It's cool. So there we go. A UFO on the ground. Pretty nice flight though, nice flight. Nice flight, landed back like that. I gotta make sure I got those antenna. Shout out to the person that sent me extra antennas also. I got some in the mail one day in the P.O. box. So um, that worked out. That was cool. That was cool. Good flight. All right guys, next up we got the Quest UFO or the Quest Flying Saucer. This is probably my favorite design. Well, I do like the Estes one, but this one it's like the classic um, one I like that I like a lot. So it should land like that, but you know, they'll bounce around. But we'll let it do its thing. It's 
smilerox321. Go on, subscribe. Also, subscribe to the Instagram. It's the same, all one word, Model Rockets 321. So let's go do it. So, all right, here we go. We got the Quest UFO, and we are ready to go on another C60. Good flights, good day. And here we go. Nothing in the air, so we are clear. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. I didn't see that plane right there. <laughs> there was one plane. Yeah, there was a plane way over there, but he wasn't near us. So there we go. We got the Quest UFO guys. They're all landing right side up. This is perfect, perfect weather today. Um, so this was cool. This was cool. Very good. The Quest UFO. And we got nice smoke happening today. Good deal. Good. Step beyond the ordinary with Above the Surface. A captivating collection of science fiction inspired drawings by model rocketeer Keith of Model Rockets 3 to 1. This zine features striking illustrations that push the limits of imagination and creativity, paired with motivational quotes to inspire and fuel your drive. Whether you're chasing dreams or need some positive words, Above the Surface is here to elevate your journey. Get your copy today while supplies last. All right, next up, guys, we got the Terraformer. This one, the last time I flew this out here, it had that explosion. You can hear planes buzzing by. I got a couple electric planes out here. This one, anyway, it took off and it blew up because there was an old D-12-0 in there. Um, but this is a new D-12-0, so we should be good. I'm not expecting anything but a great flight. So we're going to send it up. It's all repaired. You can see it's cracks. So we will be sending this guy up right now. Let's get it set up. All right, guys, so here we go. Here we go. We got the last flight coming up, which is the Terraformer on a D-12-0. This one does have that spinning motion um, on the way down, so it should be pretty cool. And here we go. Let's do it. And up! And we're going... Here we go. We got the Terraformer going in five, four, three, two, one. That is the highest one of the day on a D-12-0. There it go, caught its spin, caught its rotation, and coming down and home. Everything landed pretty much right back at the pad. That is a great day. Redemption for the Terraformer. Redemption for the Terraformer. And look at that, I see the igniter plug stayed. Never had this happen before. The igniter plug is still with the engine. How, I don't know. It was stuck on there, that is crazy. Wow, the igniter plug, it melted itself to the motor. So there we have it, guys. That is the day. It's Model Rocks 321. Subscribe to the channel. Get involved with the hobby. Use my discount code, I and underscore 321. Go and purchase some stuff. Put in that code and save some money. Also on Instagram, I and underscore 321. Check the links below and stay tuned for the debriefing. And here we go, it is debriefing time. Today you saw five flights in the park. Quick and easy, nice flights up and down. There was no wind, the weather was good. Nice and cool, landed on some grass. That's a little shared park. That's a little recreation field where drones fly, airplanes fly. Uh, as you can see, there was a couple of planes I um, had to film and we just gave each other a little heads up when I was gonna go and things like that when I remembered. But I did look around before and make sure that I was directly over the pad. But anyway, it was a fun day. So the first flight was the Estes Quinn Star. It's this rocket right here, um, kind of like a star design. And then normally, I remember the last time I flew it, it, I think it spins going up like that. And I thought coming down it did, but it kind of like fluttered around a little bit. But it was a pretty good, uh, pretty nice flyer. Quinn Star, you can get these. Um, they, normally the paint job is red and black. I decided to do mine silver and black. So yeah, pretty, not going to say easy to build, but you had, there's a lot of intricate parts you have to stick together to get this one built. Um, all those holes in there, like nice design, pretty cool rocket. Flew it on a C60, which I have right here. Um, pretty good flyer. This is the first one of the day. After that, I believe I flew the 
um, Hex 3. This is called the Hex 3. Pretty nice rocket. Has like a glide on the way down. Took off pretty nice. Went pretty high. High flyer too, but it stay all stay within the area. So if you don't have a big flying uh, flying field or anything, you can fly stuff like this um, and recover right within 20 to 30 feet. Just don't fly on super windy days and you, you'll be good. But yeah, this one also went up on a C60. Yep, get this out of here. Yep. So yeah, pretty nice flyer. The first time I flew, I think I busted one of these legs, but I went on and repaired it. Yeah, I thought I'm at the glue. Yeah, hit one again, I had to put some glue under there. But yeah, these are all just like die cut um, cardboard type materials. So they're pretty nice flyers. So that was the second one. Third one, I flew my vintage SD's Flying Saucer. You already heard the story. I had um, this when I was young. Um, and then got another one. This is the one I got again. Pretty nice flyer. Supposed to go up, turn over, and land back on its antenna like that. But it, kept, it bounced around. I think it flipped back up, right side up. And this one has a little locking mechanism. Actually, SDs have reissued these. It's known as the Snitch, and it's like a neon green color. It's a bright green. But this is the original one, the original color. So they just took whatever mold they have and made molded it in a new color, which they came out some years ago. I haven't seen this out again, but the Snitch did come out again. So, And there you have that one. Pretty cool. And the cover art for this is really nice, too. If you see the package of one of these. And it actually came in a starter set, too. It's kind of rare. You'll see this in a starter set with... Your launch controller and pad you don't see many of them i think they go for some good money too but you will see just the package one of this when i saw this way back in the days i was a kid and i was like oh, i had to have that one so i ordered from estes so that was the second flight and the third flight was the quest flying saucer or ufo i'm not sure what they call it i do like that silhouette right there as ufo design this is um classic i like it a lot um same same concept takes off and would land like that but this one bounced back over and it landed like that. So you see it's getting those burns on top from the ejection. Like there's no ejection charge, but it do throw a piece of gale, uh, char or whatever forward. A little piece of that burned up material throws that forward. Um, but yeah, nice rocket. Nice, nice rocket. And get this engine out. I had to actually put a piece of tape on the engine because this hook is kind of bent. It's been getting kind of, it got messed up. I think I had a, a bad crash one day, like... A year ago or something. Ooh, not crash, it just landed hard. Oh, that's in there pretty tough. Let me use these. And I, I put tape on here to hold this in just so it don't kick the motor out. But yeah, we had um had ourselves a good day. Wow, well, this motor's gonna be torn up. But I put tape on there to kinda friction fit it because of the engine hook. Oh yeah, getting messy. There we go. Yeah, making a mess. But yeah, so that was that flight. Toss these casings, but that was that flight. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Good day, like I said, good day at the park. You know, kept it simple. You know, it was a lot of fun. Last but not least was the Terraformer, and I think the last time I flew there, this one was the one that exploded. I'll attach that video on the end of here, and you'll see that video if I can find it to put on the end of this one. Um, when this video is done, so yeah, I flew it on an older D120 and it took off, and then boom, it blew this thing all the pieces, it exploded. Motor was a Kato, so that was that. But yeah, since just glued and it was kind of broke, and it was easy enough to fix. It didn't blow apart like there wasn't much to blow apart, but just all this, you could see where all those cracks and stuff were. So just got it all fixed up, and we were able to get back out and fly it today. But I don't know for some reason I thought I had flown it before, but I couldn't have because I just fixed it again unless it broke the last time I just forgot but yeah you get a terraformer is by Rocketarium um, they make some good stuff Rocketarium makes some good make some good kits I think he has some scale stuff he has some nice ones he has some nice ones over there so again you can get stuff like this so we get that out of there yep d12 zero and with the detailing, I just added my own stuff. I did uh, some skunk work stuff. And that, that is actually a Mars lander or a Vega. I think that's a Vega decal. It's a Vega decal there, U.S. flag, NASA. And just some little little markings here and there. U.S. on that side, little markings. But yeah, so this is a fun flight. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing these park flying day. So we flew five. Flew five, um, pretty much... Up and down, no parachutes to pack. It was a lot of fun, as usual. Stay tuned for the 
video that's going to come up on the screen. It'll be something you can go and watch. Hopefully the terraformer blow apart. And I'm going to get out of here. Check the links below. Support chat any way you can. And share, 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 share. We're out of here. It's my Rocks 321. Thanks. <music>